This is past tense part two, AR verbs in the imperfect. Now in this clip we're going to learn how to take AR verbs like cantar, bailar, estudiar, and put them into the imperfect past. Okay? <clears throat> now here's what I want you to realize. In Spanish there are two types of past tense. Okay? One is called preterite. Preterite means it happened one time. Okay? Like, I slipped and fell on the stairs, or on June 15th, my mom lost her car keys, or last week and I saw my uncle at the store. All of those would be preterite. <clears throat> but in Spanish, there's a second type of a verb called imperfect. Okay? Imperfect means lots of things. It means so many things, I've come up with an acronym for you. Adore. Everybody say adore. Okay? Now, Imperfect past is used when you're talking about age or appearance. That's where you get the A. A stands for age or appearance. So if you're saying oh, the woman was very old or the house was green or, or she looked tired, if you're just talking about age or appearance in the past, you're going to use the imperfect forms of the verb. D stands for description. If you're describing date, time, or weather in the past, the verb is going to use what we call imperfect endings. O stands for ongoing. <clears throat> Anything ing in the past, he was talking, we were eating. Anytime you see ing in the past, you're going to use the form of the verb that we call imperfect past. R stands for repeated. If something happened lots of times, like when he was little, my brother always lost his shoes, or in high school, I always tried out for p plays. Okay? And E is kind of a catch all letter. It stands for every time we can't logically say it happened just one time in the past. Okay, like the house was big. You can't say the house was big just one time. So, <clears throat> here's what I want you to realize. Preterite is a form of past tense and so is imperfect. Preterite means it happened one time and imperfect means all these things that fall under the acronym ADORE. Okay? Now, how do we form imperfect past? I understand, Mr. Holt, if I say something was going on, it's going to be imperfect. If something was repeated, it's imperfect. It's a description, it's going to be imperfect. But how do I take an AR verb like hablar or cantar and turn it into the imperfect? All right? What do I chop off and what do I glue? This is a very good question. <clears throat> Let's look at everybody's favorite regular air verb, hablar. Now, if you want to put hablar in the past imperfect, like say I always talked or I was talking or I repeatedly talked, you're going to chop off the AR and add aba, abas, aba, abamos, aban. I'm going to say the phrase in Spanish, then English and clap, and I'd like you guys to repeat it with me. Ready? Yo hablaba, I always spoke. Yo hablaba, I always spoke. Two hablabas, you always spoke. Tu hablabas, you always spoke. Ella hablaba, she always spoke. <coughs> Ella hablaba, she always spoke. Nosotros hablábamos, we always spoke. Nosotros hablábamos, we always spoke. And finally, ellas hablaban, they always spoke. Ellas hablaban, they always spoke. All right, Mr. Holt. You're saying that we chop off the AR and add ABBA, ABBAS, ABBA, ABAMOS, ABAN. But you've thrown so much stuff at me. You've talked about past tense. You've talked about imperfect. You've talked about ABBA, ABBAS, ABBA. How on earth am I supposed to keep any of this straight tonight when I'm studying or next week when we take the test? Well, I'm glad you asked. To keep imperfect past straight in your head for AR verbs, I want you to think about Fred Flintstone. <laughs> now, I know that seems like a profoundly bizarre thing to say. Mr. Holt, how is a cartoon character, Fred Flintstone, going to help me take AR verbs in Spanish and put them in the imperfect? Well, stop and think. <clears throat> Fred Flintstone lived in the past. He was a caveman. His wife, Wilma, thought he was imperfect, and he repeatedly said, yabba dabba do. Now, this grammar pattern we're talking about is past tense. Yo hablaba means I always spoke or I was speaking. Tu hablabas means you always spoke or you were speaking, okay, or you repeatedly spoke. <clears throat> so it's past tense. The fancy name for these aba, abas, aba verbs is imperfect, and Fred's wife thought Fred was imperfect, and you chop off the AR to form imperfect, and you add aba, abas, aba. And what did Fred Flintstone say when he got excited? He said, yabba, dabba, do. <clears throat> so, everybody say, we adore Fred. We adore Fred. 
All right, Mr. Holt, I get that preterite means it happened one time, and there are lots of things that imperfect mean. Could you go over one last time when we use imperfect? Tell me when we chop off the AR and add aba, abas, aba for past tense. All right, I'm glad you asked. <clears throat> Everybody say, we adore Fred. We adore Fred. Anytime you're talking about age or appearance, you're going to use Imperfect, Abba, Abba, Abba. Anytime you're describing date, time, or weather, for AR verbs, you're going to chop off the AR and add Abba, Abba, Abba. Anytime for AR verbs in the past, it's ING. He was bowling. He was talking. We were working. It's going to be Abba, Abba, Abba. R stands for repeated. He repeatedly uh, played uh, bowling matches with Barney. He repeatedly came home late. And finally, um, this is the catch-all phrase. I want you guys to realize past tense is imperfect. Say that. Past tense is imperfect. Most of the time you guess imperfect. The only time you don't use imperfect, the only time you don't use the Fred Flintstone verb is when you can say something happened one time and one time only. Now I know this is a hard clip. You might want to go back and watch it again. This has been Past Tense AR Verbs Part 2.